Okay. So um, down here, there's a link, and then there's another link off screen to what newborn screens are covered by state. So this is not federally mandated, so you can type in a disease. So here on the right, I've typed in cystic fibrosis, and basically you see every state covers it except Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania is a weird one where it kind of does. I forget what orange means, but everyone basically screens for that. Sorry. In comparison, if I look up MPS1, mucopolysaccharidosis 1, the red are states that where it's not in the prenatal screen. Why does this matter? Because in California, you, your patient would come in if they had MPS1 and you wouldn't be diagnosing them based on a phenotype. You would just know that from their electronic medical record, right? Whereas Indiana, surrounded in blue, uh, we do not have that, okay? Um, so in this state, in the clinic, you could have a child that has MPS1 and you wouldn't know. You'd have to detect that from a developmental delay. And to be fair, these generally move with how actionable is it? Right? So if someone has uh, San Filippo syndrome, there's, not, there's clinical trials for some of those now, but there's not much to do. So what's the benefit of putting it in a prenatal screen right now? Right? 